Don't walk, run. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky, and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you should hit that subscribe button and you should also stay tuned. Y'all are so bomb. I just want to thank y'all for hyping me up in those videos when I was like with no makeup because I was like, I'm out here looking crazy. But y'all hyped me up, so I'm like, I'm not looking crazy. <laughs> so I definitely want to thank you guys for that. Welcome to my new subscribers, returning subscribers, new viewers, returning viewers. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you enjoy the content and you will consider subscribing. Overall, my goal is to get a community a community tab because I like posting sales and stuff that I see because I know I'm not the only person out there hauling, so. I have a mini haul this time, so if you're interested, then keep on watching. So first in this haul, if you caught my how to decant your roller balls and dabbers video, then this will make sense to you. Um, if you haven't seen that video and you have roller ball perfumes or little mini dabbers, I recommend you check that out. So the droppers that I ordered, they have arrived. I have a huge little bag here. There are 100 pieces of these little pipettes. The link for these is in that video. So you can just, I'll make sure I leave that video linked in the cards. You can just check that video out to catch the link for these little droppers. This fits into my um, dabbers. I have some Paco Rabanne little samples that I've been dying to test out. And I have a couple other little dabbers I've accumulated. So glad to have these. Next, continue with that same video. I picked up some um, atomizers. I have a box of these. I'm not sure exactly how many are in here, but these are the 5ml. I left a link for these in that video as well. So now, y'all, yeah, <laughs> I can definitely um, decant my roller balls. Um, I may even be interested in purchasing more roller balls or just decanting some of my full size bottles in the event I travel and I don't, or you know, I don't feel comfortable taking them with me. So now I got plenty of these. Also my friend, she she's kind of into perfume, kind of not. So I told her, come on over, come on over to the candy shop. You know, I got plenty of these now, so. <laughs> Next, I picked this up from Amazon. I will make sure to leave the link for it in the description. And it's this jump rope set. So um, I was looking up wireless jump rope because I have a jump rope, but like me going outside, it's just become more and more of a hassle. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it together and show you. So it comes with these two sticks that have holes in them for you to put your rope through. It also has a full length jump rope that you can um, link into the holes. It has like a screw here. I think these little black things are to go on the ends of the rope you put through there just so that they don't come out. And I believe that's a battery. Here are the cordless jump ropes. This is a little squishy. So I'm gonna put one on. So you kind of just thread it through. Y'all, do I know how to thread? <laughs> So that's on there and you can just, you know, uh, there you go. And it came with some resistance bands. So that's cute. So this, one of these is electronic and you can, so it should count your jumps for you. Um, I'm, I don't really, well, I kind of care cause I might be interested in doing like a certain amount of jumps per day, but I mean, 
for the most part, it's something I can use indoors and I don't have to go outside. I don't have to go to the gym. Um, so I can try to start hopefully some at home workouts. Next, I don't have it with me, but I um, it's still in transit. I blind bought Juicy Couture uh, Viva La Juicy Noir. So I'm not sure if I'll do a video for that. Maybe like, if you want me to do an unboxing, just let me know in the comments. I will do an unboxing for that. Um, but it's just one. It's not like it's a haul. It's just gonna be that one. Next, I um, picked up another bottle of Thank You Next 2.0. So just Kayla Michelle had posted online, I saw it, that um, it was back in stock to ship. So I ordered another one and um, I have I have a review up for that already. It's like a sweet, sugary, strawberry, apple-y, pomegranate, sugar high going on there. Um, I think that the Walgreens app said it's in stores that it's available. So check your local Walgreens. I'm not 100% sure of that. I didn't feel the need to go look at my own stores because I have two bottles now. So I'm good. But I picked it up because I feel like I've only had this bottle maybe a month. And I feel like I spray enough of this each time I use it. So I don't think I want to run out. Like... It's just, if you love sugary, sweet, like cavity inducing, then definitely get your hands on this if you can. Next, I bought, yeah, okay. Maybe I do like pumpkin. <laughs> I bought two more of the pumpkin body butters. Like, um, I am in the process of doing another layering video where I use this, so stay tuned for that. I have the one, I have the first one that I bought, so now I have three. I have three of the body butters for this, and it is just pump. It's it's more of apple-y to me. It's more of like apple spice. But I can, I can understand the pumpkin apple spice thing. So I think if, I think if it didn't have that apple-y cinnamon uh, scent in here, then I probably wouldn't have enjoyed this as much. But because it does, yeah, I was loving it. Another item that I bought, which I almost forgot, was this vanilla pumpkin scented candle from Trader Joe's. I already started burning it. <laughs> and initially i couldn't really smell it it was a little it was kind of light for me but it burned overnight and in the morning i had like put the lid back on to stop it from burning and it was this nice light um kind of vanilla chai pumpkin -y scent so it was actually a nice light fragrance in my room um the morning after so um if you have a trader joe's i recommend you at least go into the store to smell these they have um a harvest apple one i want to say as well that one just smells like apple to me so still decent enough for you to go and pick it up and i feel like this was maybe four dollars i don't remember so last but not least for this haul y'all don't walk run if you have been trying to get your hands on this brazil nut body butter from trader joe's then don't walk run okay this has been resurfacing into different trader joe's across the country i didn't even know this was back until my friend called me she was like girl that brazil nut body butter is in stock and i was like i thought it was seasonal she was like well i'm about to go to the store now do you want some i was like yes girl give me two <laughs> So she picked me up two, but then I went back the next day and picked up another one. So I picked up three of these, y'all. Yeah. The stuff, I love this stuff. So even though I feel like I haven't really worn it yet, it's still so good. Like, ah, uh, 
Like this stuff is just so good. I think any Trader Joe's body butter would be good to have. I heard they have a grapefruit one. I'm trying to wait for that to show up in the store so I can get my hands on that. But yeah, I have a review on this as well. I'll try to remember to link that too. It smells very, very similar to the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I should probably do a review on them. Anywho, that concludes this haul. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video.